Osman with us live right now from the very same show venue from which we're bringing you that live stream. All those visuals on your screen. Let's go over to Anand. Anand, uh, good afternoon from here in India. Bring us an update. Has the audience filled out? Well, it has, it has. And Koya, this must be right up your alley. This is something which you should be very familiar with. I know that you have an interest in music and dance. And uh, this is this is a phenomenal turnout. Uh, and and the, the quality is just amazing. It's amazing to see that the Indian diaspora here, Australian-born, are so rooted to their culture, be it whichever part of the country. They have uh, not just worked hard on the art forms, they have worked hard on every single aspect. It's not an amateurish performance. It's a group of amateurs who are putting out a very, very professional performance. So, the, so, so there you go. That's another, that's another fresh round that gets underway. Yes, it's filling up here. We should have at least about about uh, 10 to 12,000 people already and uh, I'm going to ask Arpit to actually show us a little more of the entire Kudos Bank Arena even as the, as the performances happen and if you were to see all around 360 degrees uh, the seats have started filling up. A short while ago when we spoke it was quite empty but now you'd see that even the upper gallery is right in the last row people are sitting and they are slowly gradually filling up the seats. All the excitement that was happening outside is now going to come happen inside. The Modi Modi chants, the dole, the shor, all of that will be now brought into the Kudos Bank Arena. This is center stage. This is the place and we are right here on the box seat. I must tell you that. We've got access to the box seat. This is where all the federal MPs of the Australian Parliament cutting across the political lines, the aisle, will be present. The Australian Prime Minister should come here. The Indian Prime Minister should actually walk here. Prime Minister Narendra Modi should actually be uh, entering from this area, from here, where he will come in, not just acknowledge the crowd here, and then come back and take a seat to watch some of the performances, but, uh, uh, but he will also be engaging with the diaspora, not just addressing the diaspora. There are some very special announcements that are also going to happen in the presence of the two Prime Ministers, which is more for the diaspora. But more importantly, this is a huge message uh, to the Australian polity that this is the cloud that the Indian diaspora has. 700,000 strong, about 22,000 to 25,000 will be present inside the auditorium at this, uh, uh, inside the Kudos Bank Arena in a short while from now. And that's the message. And they are all here for their love for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And that's because he has worked with the Indian diaspora. He's ask the Indian diaspora to further the cause of India. Be India's champions even though they have made another nation their home. Yes, their Karma Bhumi, their uh, Janmu Bhumi for a lot of the current generation or the second generation, third generation uh, Indians who moved here, who are now Australians. Uh, it's Australia, but their roots still remain in India and you should keep that, keep that, that connect alive. Uh, we just heard a lady sometime back saying uh, that she never thought she could go to Prayagraj. They have. There are others who said that when they came here 18, 20 years ago, they never thought in their lifetime they would see uh, a, a judgment on Ram Jan Bhumi and a Ram Mandir being built and it's all happened under Prime Minister Narendra Modi. There are people who actually have come to visit their families and they said that they never thought that they would see a spectacle outside of India like they are watching, witnessing here in Sydney. So Sydney is laying out the red carpet and this is Kerala. So every state is being represented from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. Uh, every state being represented in these 25 performances uh, that are going to actually highlight or perhaps outline or set up Prime Minister Narendra Modi's arrival here inside the Kudus Bank Arena. Even bigger performance. Anand, as we take in those visuals, just, just to explain to our audiences back home, we remember how just a few years ago we saw Namaste Trump play out uh, where India welcomed the US President. We've, we've seen similar take place in the United States too with Prime Minister Modi visiting there in a huge audience turning out. Is this comparable in size, in scale? Well, it's actually slightly larger because there I remember uh, when it happened in Texas, uh, in Houston, it was about 15,000 people. This is 20,000 people. In fact, the organizers thought that there won't be more than 20,000 people and uh, they, they opted for a smaller place, that's the Kudos Bank Arena. The Accord Stadium uh, can accommodate nearly 30,000 people, uh, 35,000 people. They also wanted, they looked at the SCG at that time because the SCG can go up to 45 to 50,000 people. Now they feel on hindsight that they should should have actually looked at a larger space given the number of people who are making requests that they want to be a part of the event and they want to be here and they're willing to buy tickets but the tickets are sold out 
Now, I was speaking to Praveen a short while ago. Praveen Patel, one of the core organizers, will be working closely with the team. Uh, Rahul Chethi, I was speaking with him. And they were saying that in nine days, and I was speaking to Sai also on the Insta Live, and Sai was also saying, they all said the same thing. In nine days, from the time they started the sale of tickets, all tickets were sold out. It was a sellout in nine days. That's what happened. And after that, it's all accommodating. It's all about people calling and saying, can you figure, can you put me somewhere, somehow, somewhere? Interestingly, we had a family and I had a gentleman who's, a, who's from Maharashtra, who's come here to visit his family, his children here, but he has volunteered here for the last 24 to 48 hours. He has, he has acted as a volunteer with the organizers to help them set up the stage. So he's worked towards setting up the stage. So that's the kind of involvement that we are seeing from the Indian diaspora and Indians who have come here. There are people who have come in from uh, various parts of Australia, yes, but they have also flown in from New Zealand, I am given to understand, to, to attend this event and they bought tickets so that they can be here. So that's the kind of effort that's being taken. Toya, as I, as I hand it back to you, uh, before you ask me the next question, I have lost the connection with the PCR. So they've got to patch me back so that I could hear your question. All right. Uh, we we'll, we'll look to re-establish that connection with uh, my colleague Anand who is with us on the ground right now. Uh, till we do, let's take a look at these performances that are taking place on stage. This is coming to you live from Sydney in Australia. The Prime Minister right now on the second day of a three-day visit to the country. He's set to meet the Prime Minister Anthony Albanese tomorrow. Take a look. Pooja Pushpam Tirumun Pilar Pichidum Ne Kai Kolle Name Krishna Murare Purna Trai Hare Krishna Purna Trai Hare Keep an eye on the performances taking place on the stage in Sydney. My colleague Anand with us live, bringing us the details. Anand, before we touch on the diplomacy that's supposed to take place on the trip, tell us more about what goes on in the planning aspect when it comes to bringing this kind of event together. How is it decided? All right, we will look to connect once again with my colleague Anand. Let's touch for a second. Well, I think uh, we've just had the uh, the group from that's representing Kerala. They performed uh, a little bit of Kathakali and also uh, some amount of Moni Atom. And their performances have just, just gotten over. But they've also represented Australian, native Australian, uh, native Australia. So one of the welcomes for the Prime Minister.